What's going on guys? You down bad and broke and trying to figure out how to come back and you're collecting a bunch of components and they're not worth anything when you try and sell it and you're like, how am I ever going to make profit? Well, let me explain something to you. The legendary drops for mobs are worth a ton, so we'll start off there. The legendary data drive, so if you upgrade the data drive in one of the uplinks, you can get up to 10,000. That's a clean reset, get all your weapons, get some kits again and you can just send it. Um, but if you find that you're having a lot of PvP and it's difficult, you can farm Marauders, you can get Crystals, the Blue Egg is worth a decent amount, even a, even a rare data drive is worth, a, is worth a pretty penny. This is what you get from completing the puzzles, a pure Velta site if you're lucky, but <laughs> I wouldn't farm those, it's not worth your time. Rattler Eyes are worth quite a bit, and uh, Focus Crystals are decent, Toxic Gland is light, you can throw that into your safe pockets at any time, Titanite Ore, and the rest of this stuff, if you're really just trying to come back, you need that little buffer none of this is really worth it to be honest most of these components i mean look at the aluminum scrap it's tough to find 500 ish not nah, not worth it not worth it a bunch of components these are all the things that you get at the pois so what you want to focus on is uh, getting a backpack or enough money for a backpack then just vacuuming whatever you can quickly extracting get yourself a decent pdw kit with tactical um, armor so you can sprint for longer and then head over to the jungle so we're going to be starting off here at the stockpile, a quick buy uh, station. Now I'm going to imagine that you're an extremely down bad. So all we have money for is a small backpack that's only 600. Then we're going to see what kind of weapons. As you can tell, the shotgun and the PDW are the cheapest primaries, but they're 1200 and uh, the rest is pretty expensive. So we're going to spend 760 on the pistol with uh, two stacks of light ammo. Uh, we're not going to buy armor because that's another 800. We're going to imagine we're really down bad. And we'll do five med sticks. You buy whatever you can, because you're going to need a few if you want to melee mobs quietly without alerting everyone around you. So let's grab the pistol. Let's grab the ammo. Let's grab our meds. And then let's go drop. So we'll head to Bright Sands. Hit escape twice and then M to check where your map is. We're landing near comps tower. So near the rock pools, there's not really a lot of loot, but there is a house that has medical equipment in it. So we're gonna see if we can go there and stock up. But first, let's grab what we find on the way. Found the water filament. Mining some notes. Oh, the power of editing, so nice. Now you guys are going to want to get the altered nickel and put that into your safe pocket so that if you get two and then hopefully when you hit a medical place like vaccine labs or here that you can make a green backpack and then you can carry a bunch more out you can farm longer you can stay out here and then you can really come back quick now see if we get anything out of this one nope dog shit Nickel's worth almost nothing, but the altered nickel you're going to need for the backpacks. Don't sell it, because it's not worth much. You're going to need it for the backpacks. Check around here, because there can be some materials that spawn. Get stamina back real quick. And then head up in here. This is almost never looted. No one really ever comes here. And if you're stuck on optic glass, or you want medical items, just come in here. There you go. Look at that. So if you want optic glass, uncontested, come through here. Another one. So yeah, you, what you want is meds, right? You want enough meds to be able to survive a couple of attacks. You might want to go into the jungle right away if you're feeling confident. But since, you know, if we died with this run and you really have zero left, don't want to do that. You just want to make a quick run through. Farm what you can, grab things along the way. There you go. And two more of those and look, that's it. Backpack made one more and that's it. So this is a quick little spot to get looted up. And like I said, it's near rock pools. There's no good loot here whatsoever. So people are just moving through all the time. Now what we're looking out for is a toxic glands. We're in the rock pool anyway. Let's see if we can get some toxic glands real easy. Now the ticks, don't shoot them. There's no need. Just let them come up to you, explode. And then when they're done, just check their bodies. Keep it real simple, keep it smooth. Don't make any noise, nothing there. In the water, it can be tough to see, but they look like this. Throw that into the safe pocket, it's 900 right there. That pays for the backpack. Almost a pistol. Nice textiles, doesn't sell for much, but it's nice. Can make you a blue backpack. 
some nice craftables. Now, when you go, when you have to go through POIs, try to be sneaky. Don't just go straight through the middle and aggro all the mobs. I want to see if anyone's here. So I see that the mobs are all here. So it's unlikely that someone is here. So we're just gonna push through, see if we can find some decent stuff. Cause there's an office upstairs with a safe. The best thing you want, if you're really, really down bad, is to get some K marks, just straight currency, and you can find those in the safes and whatnot. Let me deal with this real quick. All right. Yeah, look at that dodge. Easy. Do it up. Ah, nothing too valuable. Now the safe uh, in the office is upstairs. This isn't it yet, but there is a safe here. Can be. Some K marks, a little something. They don't weigh anything, so just throw them in your safe pockets. Always, always. Check the safe, like extra money. Look at that, it's a thousand K marks. Now we paid back for the backpack and the entire kit. Just in our safe pocket. So if we die, we can go again. That doesn't sell for like anything at all. So we're going to drop that. Before we check the office, we can keep this run going fast. Smoke grenade. You never know. Some cover for the extract or just to get away. A lot of people have difficulty running away from trios. But if you use a smoke that you find, you just throw it down. Should be able to escape quite easily and confuse them. Always escape with your knife. You're not going to contest anyway if you're running away. So just take your knife out. You'll run faster than the trio trying to catch up with guns. Check the office. Check for some loot. Something. Oh, there we go. Boom. And that, that, that key is not worth much. But the, the money's nice. So look, we paid back for the kit. All good to go. Now we're looking to see if we can extract real quick. On our way out. We got what we needed, we got what we came for. Just try to fill up on weight. Pretty much full. Head over to base camp, that's where the extract's at. We could drop a med, I'm actually full on a lot of meds, and meds aren't worth much for the weight. Ooh, tight night ore. Let me drop something, make some more. Those aren't worth much at all. Deal with this rattler. Hopefully we get some rattler eyes. It's a pistol, okay guys? It takes a hot minute. No rattler eyes. Don't take the skin, not worth it. Heal up. Get rid of some beautiful weight. There's 200. You know, you gotta make the use out of everything. That should be fine. Little tight night door worth 570 a pop. Pretty good. Looking for altered nickel. We got one. Drop regular nickel, not worth the wait. Looking around for some more. Because we want those green backpacks badly. Because you want to be able to maintain your gear from here on out. So if you can go in and get two altered nickel, three, four on a run. You'll be set. If you do that for a while, you'll, you'll have enough green backpacks to, to live in for the rest of the wipe. But you just got to make sure every time you see it. Because you, you're seeing it and you're thinking, ah, oh, it's not worth much. Got to go continue. But the altered nickel is always worth it. Always worth it. Now check for some more mineables on our way to base camp. Since we're here, haven't heard much. No gunfire. Seems pretty quiet. But I'm going to deal with these mobs silently since I'm near base camp. That's number one. Number two. There we go. Now, if you didn't have a gun, uh, you could shoot and make a bunch of noise. But if you just had a knife, it is possible to kill rattlers. You're going to take inevitable damage. But that's all right. You brought meds, hopefully. At least three, at least something. Maybe you looted it around rock pools or vaccine labs. If not, it'll be just about half HP. Depending on if you get hit by two lunges or not. So there you go, it is possible. Mine up the rest real quick. Get rid of some more weight. Don't be afraid to go uh, all silent and whatnot and just take damage. I mean, that's what you bring the meds for, right? Because I could have made a bunch of noise here. Who knows if a trio is nearby and whatnot. Then they come, they push. I'd rather just knife it out, use two, three meds, and we're good to go. Ooh, tight night ore. That's worth quite a bit. 
So we're gonna throw that into our safe pockets. Along with as much altered nickel as you can fit. Now spinal bases are worth it for the weight to cell ratio. They're about 100 per weight, so they're, they're, they're really good. They're light, just a little extra bonus. Now looting in the backside of base camp. Make sure to check all the corner spots and whatnot. People usually don't come through and check everything. It wasn't worth it, but you never know. Copper wire is decent. Doesn't really sell for much, but I need it anyway, so I'm gonna grab it. Call for the evac. Grab what you can to fill up on weight. Anything at all, really. Ooh, janitor's key. Got some pistons. And. Ooh, interactive screen. We want that. Do I drop? Uh, that's fine. Alright, get the quick extract. Just like that, we're in and out. With, I believe, let's say 17, 18 grand, something like that. There you go, 18 grand. Now, with that, you should be good. You should be golden. You got enough, what, almost four green backpacks. Two green backpacks, excuse me. You got some high-end loot items. You got your meds. You got smokes. You got a grenade. Uh, next run, you're probably going to want to bring uh, PDW and tactical armor so you can run faster and do the loot runs even quicker. The gist of it is, you know, stay safe. Uh, don't go to main POIs that are uh, contested, that there's people at. Wait a few seconds before you get there. Just stay stealthy and quiet and let someone else be making noise running through. You want to take this game a lot slower because you have a lot to lose. You know, the the chances that you come through and you PvP and you kill people and, and you get what you need or you get actual valuable items is very slim. You know, at most you get whatever he has on him. A basic little PDW kit like you. And, I mean, you, you get like two or three grand worth of stuff. But on the opposite side, you could be losing your three grand worth of stuff and your time and rinse repeat and you're down bad again. So play it safe until you feel comfortable, like you have enough um, came work balance. Like 50,000 should be plenty. Then you can go and do whatever you want and be a warlord again. So another big tip uh, when you're dropping in here and you're looking for ways to make money is uh, go to the uh, puzzles in water facility or here at dig site and complete them. You'll get the miniature reactor which is worth quite a bit as we saw earlier and also it has the possibility of dropping weapons, ammo which you'll need for future runs, um, hopefully you get a decent weapon. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys here how to complete the one here in dig site. The main thing with puzzles, as I said earlier in my uh, starter guide, is you just want to follow the cables and figure out what has power and what doesn't. Usually there's a power source that's locked behind um, some kind of gate. Usually it needs to be powered, so you swap around the first power cube till it gets power to that uh, second one. Then you open, unlock it, and then throw it in, and then bring the second one to a new location, and then it'll show you where the third one is. So here. I powered and switched it around so this main building is on power. Open it up. Go find the power cube inside. Don't worry about this guy. Garbage loot, but we'll pick it up. We gotta be a vacuum. All about just doing runs quickly. And hopefully one of these items are you need for your mission. Because missions are a great way of making money. Keeping you afloat, even though you're making losses. As long as you got your mission done, doesn't matter if you die. You're making probably 10,000 K marks anyway. Flip that switch. Grab the power source. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll just go this way. Now bring it back to the start. Easy peasy. Now this is what we have to unlock, so I'm going to leave that right there. And then I'm going to switch around the power source to unlock that room. This is the way I usually go, and you can bring the power cords up. The, the, the sources, the power sources, you can bring them up as well. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Alright, come on. There we go. Head over to where we dropped that power source. Open up the room, check the power source in, follow the cable. It leads into this 
Next room on the second floor. Loot up some loose loot. There's a med crate in this room as well, in the back corner. Uh, might need that for a quest. If you already completed your quest, then you should probably just drop it. It's not really worth the wait. But when you're starting off with these runs, you just take anything you can and then you deal with it later once you're full. Because you want quick runs, that's the name of the game. Oh what, you make five grand? Oh, it's not that much. Yeah, okay, but you can do two, three runs safely. You know, it's like playing a single player game and you, you spam save game a little bit, you know? It's the safe strat. Alright, grab that last power cube and we can unlock this... Uh, this puzzle now there's a jeff underneath uh and to the left of the puzzle and you can try to kill him for a legendary drop which could pay hefty his bone already pays for quite a bit the bone plate and you could use it for end game crafting so it's always good this is how you bring it up here quickly without having to walk all the way around i also find it to be a bit safer you got more cover you're not out in the open Throw in that last one. There we go. And then head into the loot room, follow these powered cables. That'll lead you all the way over here. And then check the loot room. From here, usually you could just extract, but if you're feeling lucky, you could Take whatever weapons you find in here and clear out the jungle for the possibility of turning this run from 10,000, 15,000, maybe 20,000, all the way to 40 to 60,000. So it just depends if you want to gamble it or not. Probably since, you know, that's how we got here. I, I've done the same thing on my first playthrough in the closed beta one. I went totally broke and I even sold all my uh, faction scripts that I got for nothing and that was the dumbest idea ever it made the game so much more difficult so I understand guys it happens to everyone but hopefully you know you learn from your mistakes we move on from here and it's all good unless you're down bad again I'll see you later <laughs> watching the video over alright here if we can head out and head to the jungle collect some crystals and then dip in the jungle when we're here, don't want to sprint too much where it's heavily contested by mobs. Walking through, most of the time should get you in without being detected whatsoever. So along the edges here, totally fine. Check for stamina real quick. Oh, I heard someone. Stay quiet for a bit. See if you can snuff them out. If not, keep it moving and keep some mobs around you. So this is what I was talking about. Walking through the dense areas here. Let's see if there's no mobs. We not going that way. You want to head to the back side, all the way in the top left. If there's a marauder there, it's going to be pretty tough. You can do it, but you can check if there's not a marauder. There's usually some striders that'll spawn there, and you can deal with them. They're a lot easier. That's a pretty free, a free spot. But yeah, just farm up the jungle for some crystals and then get out of there. You can check the crashed ship, of course, for some high tier items. But unless you get master CPU, or something really crazy like Portable Lab, it's not really worth the money. It's just nice for end game crafting and whatnot, and for missions. So yeah, just some little striders. Deal with them real quick. I'm gonna take some damage, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get this done quick. Oh wow. Alright, met up real quick. It's pretty decent. We get rid of 20 weight and we can load it up with crystals. Anyway, you get the idea for this run. I head out and extract here in a bit. 
But uh, yeah, just farm up the jungle, then you can head out. Then on your second, third, fourth, whenever you feel comfortable, bring a little PDW, two stacks of ammo, one med kit, five meds, ensure all your stuff, and then try and head into the jungle, focus on getting the focus crystals, head to the jungle camp, if you have some audio grenades, toss them and distract them, check crash ship for some good items and kill the marauder there, uh, or known as Jeff, the little mini boss, I'll show you how to do that as well. And uh, I just want to go over the basics real quick. You only got a couple options if you really want to bounce back. You can upgrade the data drive. You can look for loose K marks and safes. I would stay away from pretty much any POI unless you just want to go in, quickly vacuum some loot near your extract because most of the loot is not going to be worth it. You want to focus on the mineable materials, the data drives, and then uh, drops from mobs such as the toxic glands or the rattler eyes those are worth a lot. Blue eggs and uh, puzzles as well. So that's pretty much the gist. I'm going to leave this run uh, with no voiceover, just letting it cruise out, letting you guys see the run for yourself. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it. Um, if you still have tips, uh, questions you want to leave the community or anyone who's reading the video, um, or tips and questions for myself, go ahead. Um, thanks a lot, guys, and enjoy the quick run. How could I forget? Thanks, Carlos, so much for the comment and the uh, sub. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys all shortly. Thank you.